Hi guys, today we'll be working on these holly berries with silver branches. Kind of a little bit wintry and a little bit holiday and I really am liking the way the three textures play together. So if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. I have already applied my base coat and as usual I'm using ready for takeoff. And next I'm going to be applying my base color and I'm using Orly Matte Vinyl, which is a matte black. And if you don't have a polish that is matte black right out of the bottle, you can go ahead and use a normal black with a matte top coat. And I'm just gonna try and be mindful with my application here so that I can just get away with one coat. And just to mention, as far as my not-quite-so-short nails now, I did post a picture over on Instagram showing what about one month of growth is for me. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll include a link down in the information box. To paint on the branches, I'm going to be using a striper brush and Sally Hansen Sterling Silver from their color foil collection. And I've just got a plastic lid here to use as my palette and put my paint out. I'm just gonna start off with a little dab and add more if and when I need it. And I don't wanna go kinda overboard with the branches I want there to still be a good amount of black, but then again, I still want you definitely to notice the branches. So I'm just going to start painting some on, and I'm going to complete all the branches before I go back in and start on the berries. going to be using two colors for the berries just so that they show up against the black background. I'm going to start out with Orly white tips and then on top of that I'm going to be using China Glaze ruby pumps. Um, I did just a little bit of testing and it wasn't vibrant enough for me just over the black so I'm gonna go ahead and do some little white dots all over where the berries are going and then once those are dry come back and top them off with the red glitter and I'm just going to be using a small dotting tool and if you don't have a dotting tool you can check out I made kind of an FAQ what if I don't have a dotting tool pretty much anything round you can find and don't mind getting nail polish on is perfectly fine to make dots you don't have to have a real dotting tool, so to speak. And I'm just going to place these not too heavy, mostly along the branches, but also maybe some kind of just hanging out there in the blackness. And that's also part of why I wanted to try and leave some space is so that it didn't get really crowded once I added the berries. And I don't know. Sometimes, even when I'm planning something, I manage not to do it, like this nail here. I feel like has a little bit too much branches, but I'm just gonna try and work with it. So I finished all the white dots. And when I'm working with something like this, I usually do record most of it and then pick up my hand and look at it from a couple different angles and maybe add a few more drops if necessary. Just because the best angle for recording does not always give me the best angle, if that makes sense. So 
Moving on to the red, I'm just going to be applying that on top of each of the white dots. And you just want to make sure that the whole white dot is covered. I even almost thought about using a slightly larger dotting tool for the red, but I decided it wasn't really necessary. The final touch I'm going to add on these is just a little bit of Sechvit on top of the berries. And that's just to give them extra shine and also to help them dry. Uh, I actually already smeared a couple of the ones on my left hand, so this will ensure that doesn't happen to any of the others. And it also makes it kind of dimensional. They actually will stick up from the nail, almost like a rhinestone, with this little cap of top coat on them. So I'm still just using the same dotting tool, and I'm going back to each berry. So here's the finished manicure, and I did have a few near misses with the berries and a few actual accidents that I had to repair, but even the fixes I feel like turned out pretty good. You can maybe see just a few smears on this ring finger here, but overall this really came out very close to what I had in my head, and I think it's a great sort of alternative winter or Christmas design that's not super traditional, but still gives off a very wintry holiday vibe. At least I think so. You can let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be starting my 12 days of Christmas nail art in about a week. And I'll be posting every day up until Christmas 12 nail art designs and I'm really looking forward to it. If you want some designs before next week, you can check out my Christmas playlist for last year's 12 Days of Christmas. And if you would like to see this glossy, be sure that you are following me on Instagram. Right now, I'm really liking the matte and the chrome and the shiny glitter all kind of contrasting with each other, but generally speaking, I don't really wear matte nails that long, so odds are that I'll top coat the whole thing, and if and when I do, I'll be posting that up over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and as always, thanks for watching.